done and it's Tesla time. So reading in the paper today about uh, uh, an incident that happened in Boston at the airport where a line of taxi drivers basically broke into a small riot and it was caused by one of the taxis in line crashing into the taxi in front of it. Uh, the paper didn't say it, but I wondered if it was a case of pedal confusion. You know, uh, we were all taught uh, when we were learning how to drive years ago that you use your right foot to control the accelerator and the brake pedal. And um, that uh, that was so that there would you wouldn't have the tendency to slam on uh, the uh, press the accelerator and the brake pedal. If you use both feet and you use your uh, left foot for the brake and the right feet foot for the accelerator, then in an emergency you would potentially could slam both the accelerator and the brake pedal to the floor, and that would be uh, somewhat unsafe. Uh, however, um, I read an organization about left uh, left foot uh, driving. Um, and it said that that's a, that's a, a myth. Uh, this uh, like uh, this this is an organization like drunk driving or whatever. They're trying to get people to think, and they were saying that the the real reason that the, we use one foot uh, or right foot driving is because way back when when we were everybody was driving with clutches um, and then went to automatics, they were people were already used to driving with the right foot for both the accelerator and the brake pedal and using the left for the clutch. So basically when you learned how to drive an automatic, you just quit using your left foot and continue to use your right foot. Well, uh, Tesla has been in the newspaper numerous times about people who are parking Teslas and they're crashing into either the building, the sidewalk, or the car in front of, uh, directly in front of them when they're in uh, perpendicular parking manually. And um, they all blame the car for, um, you know, autopilot or something to uh, causing the crash. And it's possible, uh, you know, uh, but according to Tesla, the logs, it, the logs all show the people have pressed the accelerator, particularly to the floor. So in a Tesla, when you press the accelerator to the floor, unlike gasoline cars that have to think and mix the air and the fuel and the transmission has to change gears and all these kinds of things that happen in a uh, gasoline powered car when you floor it, there's a delay. Um, in a Tesla, when you push the accelerator to the floor, it's instantaneous. Uh, and you get maximum torque. So the car will literally launch. Uh, so if you're per perpendicular parking and you push the accelerator to the floor, you will be through the parking place and into whatever objects on the you know, opposite the parking place uh, in a blink of an eye. Uh, there is no recovery from that. So uh, you have to be particularly careful with one foot driving in a Tesla and not get into the case of pedal confusion. And because of regenerative braking, you tend to use what we call one pedal driving where you're actually stopping the car with the accelerator by lifting your foot off the accelerator, the Tesla will literally almost completely stop. So it, it leads to even more cases of pedal confusion in my opinion. So I think this is one of the things that we're going to have to as a society think about. And the Tesla I think has actually done the wrong thing. Uh, they, um, if you try to press, if you have the, breast, the brake pedal uh, pressed and you press the accelerator it puts up an error message says two pedals pressed and so it actually is trying to discourage two pedal driving um, now I understand that Tesla is working on a software fix that is going to negate they call it pedal negation where uh, if it sees uh, you know you're 10 feet away from the car in front of you and you floor the accelerator and yet you're not turning the uh, steering wheel or something like that to swing out around the car, that it's not going to do, it's not going to respond to the accelerator. We'll have to see if that's what they really do and how effective that is. Anyway, just, just saying this pedal confusion, it's a real thing. One other thing you had mentioned to me a few minutes ago was that um, 
you no longer can get a Ford F-150 pickup oh, truck right. or oh. a Chevy Silverado that um, comes with a manual transmission that it, they're getting harder to find. That's correct. So if you go to your local Chevy or Ford dealer and you'd like to buy one of these nice new 2017 pickup trucks and you'd like to buy a manual shift, one with a manual transmission, you're not going to be able to, they don't make them. Uh, if you're a fleet, if you're a, a you know, utility company and you're going to buy 500 trucks, you can order them with a manual transmission, but consumers are no longer, they, they no longer uh, offer uh, manual transmission. Uh, BMW just na announced that they are ending manual transmissions in their cars. And I read another one, uh, Porsche or Audi or somebody also uh, uh, is not going to be making manual transmissions any longer. So automatic transmissions or transmissions without a clutch. Um, uh, so there, there is, uh, we probably should rethink this two pedal uh, driving concept and maybe let people use the left foot because that myth that you will mash both feet to the floor uh, in a case of an emergency if you drive with two feet has never been proven. Uh, there is no statistics according to the one uh, left foot driving website there's no statistics to that information that, uh, that that's a true case. Yeah, and I'll look up that website and have it in the video description in case you want to go check it out for yourselves. Um, I know personally that I did learn to drive a manual transmission, but now I haven't driven one in 15 years. The uh, Scion XB sits out there in the driveway, and in an emergency, I hope I could get in it and make it move, but uh, I don't think that that's something that I want to give a try in an emergency. Right. Uh, I don't expect Joey and Johnny to right. learn to drive a stick. I, um, I just I just don't see it happening. So. Um, well, yeah, even even small cars. You were talking about the the Scion. Uh, it it can it has a 1.5 liter engine, and it actually was available in an automatic. Uh, automatic transmissions used to uh, let's say waste a lot of energy, and therefore gave you. Uh, worse gas mileage and were a heavier tax on the engine itself so small cars um, uh, with small engines uh, they basically didn't have automatic transmissions because you know they it sort of they weren't powerful enough but nowadays um, the transmissions are uh, automatic transmissions are all computer controlled they have dual clutches uh, uh, that are electronically controlled the the Torque, they, they may or may not even have a torque converter, or if they do, the, the torque converter locks up at a very low RPM. So uh, they basically are electronically shifted manual transmission. So that's what you, an automatic transmission today is actually a manually or automatically shifted manual transmission. It's closer to that than the, what we think of the old uh, two speed power glide back in the 1950s.